Um, Christchurch 360 Trail, Ken Calling. Judith Miller, I'm chairperson of the Christchurch 360 Trail Incorporated. Just to recap for those of you, the Christchurch 360 Trail encircles the city of Christchurch, showcasing its landscapes, biodiversity, history, architecture and culture. Our primary strategic goal is, and I quote, to complete the trail circuit so that the route is 100% open how easy that is to say, and how difficult it is for us to achieve. The irony is that this has been our primary goal ever since the trail was opened three and a half years ago. Whilst some progress has been made on the Estuary Edge project, for which we are appreciative, at best its progress can be described as glacial. My purpose in introducing the submission is to share with the Council the frustration we feel at the failure to move this project along. We are a small group of volunteers who have been plugging away at this year after year, seeking assistance from the Council and other bodies in a variety of ways. We have attended meetings, written emails, had lengthy conversations, requested assistance. A completed circuit can only be a reality with your support to unblock the sticking points. Until the route is complete, we are stymied from marketing it both domestically and internationally as a great urban walk. The Christchurch economy is the loser. What do we want? We want action not words. We want progress, not procrastination. We want a can-do attitude and not another roadblock. We want the trail to become a jewel in the crown of Christchurch tourism as it could be and it ought to be. What we don't want is to come here again next year with a repeat story. I now leave it to Colin to present the specifics of our submission. Thank you. Um, I think Judith has, has very much covered uh, the main, main points here, and I'll just sort of highlight a few issues. And I'm going to, I think, um, just flick through these. I'm gonna, my finger's gonna twitch, so you can just see the range of, of um, imagery available on this extremely diverse um, um, experience. <clears throat> so we know that there's a huge amount of support out there and people just wanting to get on with it. Um, I met Middleton Grange senior students last summer who were just completing it um, as, as an exercise that they, do, they were doing sort of completely voluntarily. There's 24 hour runners which I saw last spring. There are many cyclists who report back to me um, and, there are, and there are dozens of festival walkers who are now forming their own support group. Um, what I'd rather do is, is be out there on the track with you to, to kind of share that experience and have a convivial lemonade afterwards to share those memories. Um, the City Council, of course, has invested already um, greater than $50,000, Rotary over nearly 10000 Canterbury Horticultural Society, and enormous in-kind in support from countless people. Um, Judith has outlined, um, I think, the frustrations. Don't need to sort of cover that again, but the point is that we can't market it until the Council endorses the route and allow us to put our track markers out and to close the circle. Christchurch NZ want to be able to sell it as a whole, not just a collection of nice bits of walk like any other place. This is a world-class great walk in every respect. Look at the images which are flashing past here. <clears throat> Imagine what it would become if we were actively promoting the whole thing, both as a 12-segment, 12 12-month 12 option for local families and the current eight-dayer. Think of the business generated for accommodation, food, beverage, transport, foot plasters, etc. <laughs> uh, 
and other things. False logic is being used to obstruct endorsement um, of the routes for walkers um, along the northwest rural roads, cyclists and, and cyclists on various urban roads. It's said that Ryan's Road is too dangerous without pedestrian infrastructure. We are told that spraying a path is not desirable despite um, it being in essence the same as and far cheaper than a lime chip path suggested by previous traffic engineer. It's conveniently forgotten that the Tiara Roa, the, the North Cape to Bluff walkway, has significant stretches along state highways without any pedestrian infrastructure. What's the difference? Risk averseness can hardly be an issue since millions were invested by the council in the Adventure Park, which has several users a week ending up in hospital because of sustaining injuries. This is just illogical. We need, as Judith said, a can can a go to can do champion and council to push past the limited unjoined vision of individual silos. It's been suggested that we can use this route on our website and just advertise that it isn't fully formed as a route and all it needs to be able to put our track markers out there and signs to warn motorists and walkers that each other exist. We need resolution of the groins to sanctuary area and the estuary edge and so on. And we've sought various kind of funding over the next 10 years to support um, new booklets, track markers, road signs, promotion, etc. Um, and a line item for ongoing occasional maintenance, noting that most of this is provided by volunteers anyway. The city has to break out of its mediocrity, like the fush uh, um, uh, thing on, on the news last night. You know, there are innovators out there. This is what people from all over the world yearn to do. We're selling them short and our own citizens' health. We need to be a smarter and build on our fundamental values, not um, an unsustainable Rolls-Royce kind of uh, ventures, which we often seem to kind of get mesmerised by. So that's what I want to kind of um, uh, point, uh, make the finish on on that very sort of positive note. But I think we've got a final word from one of our um, supporters here. Is, have we got Claire? Oh, yeah. I just come, come forward. We won't pick you up on the um, live stream if you sit back there. Thank you. Hi, I just wanted to mention that my husband and I have lived overseas for many years and we're avid walkers and we've done lots of walking. We've been up to base camp in the Himalayas, then to Mount Olympus in Greece, lots of various paths through east, west and footpaths through Britain and then last year we did the 400k um, Camino Frances across northern Spain. So we've done lots of walk, walks through various environments and when we came back here we thought oh good we'll have a rest. Thankfully we found um, a marker for the 360 trail. We didn't have a clue what it was but we joined it and set off and it was just we were just totally blown away from day one. We'd gone all around the world and yet here we had our mountain path, we had our estuary path, we had our wetland path, we had the coastal, we had the river braids then through part of the city and then up through the quarry. It was all here, right on our doorstep. And everything is just perfect and amazing for Christchurch people. It's such a wonderful opportunity to be so proud of what our city can offer, not just overseas people, but for its own residents, its own taxpayers. We need this, we really need it. And the, the problem is, as both of the previous speakers have said, that it's just not complete. And that's the downfall. And we just need some help. We're all trying. We do our best to get as much done as we can. Unfortunately, it just needs money. And that's what, obviously, we're not in a position to throw at it. But everything else, we're all so willing and passionate about getting this going because it's just a wonderful thing that Christchurch residents deserve. Thank you. Look, um, I've just mentioned this to the um, Chief Executive because it actually wasn't so explicitly clear in your um, submission about the extent of the health and safety issues that seem to be precluding uh, resolution of some of these areas, Pound Road, Ryan's Road and Rusty Road. It, it, it didn't seem to me that they were um, fatal to the route being completed, but it does seem to be. So um, I think that possibly we could get somebody to work with uh, with the organisation and just 
go through each one of those and establish what the issues are and um, and 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 pull them into um, into some sort of uh, you know sort of progress so that we can achieve what you want to achieve without um, necessarily um, you know hold, holding up for the um, for the LTP so look uh, um, Tim if you want to thank you do you think that this organization truly sees the value and the vision that this could do for tourism <coughs> One would doubt. I think the problem is the silo effect. You know, there's different parts of the council all coming at it from different genders, but not seeing the whole, not seeing the whole value to the whole city. It's not just for us. Um, it's it's something, an asset to kind of energise the city and to, you know, make it. Dare I say, make it great again. I mean, you know, we we've really got to somehow lift our game. You know. <laughs> 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 but anyway, that's 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 brought you to the end. But look, the the the, the chief executive's undertaken to um, you know bring bring somebody mm. to the table so that we can look at it from a um, non-siloed perspective, but from a 360 yeah. um, angle, and um, and uh, see whether we can um, come to some resolution. I don't want you to be coming back every year. I'd rather you came back with some new projects and um, exciting Great. opportunities for the city. So thank you very much. Great, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.